everybody, it's me, your J Time, and I am here live at the Mayor's Ball, the I VIP reception. This is the place to be. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see who walks through on the red carpet. I can't wait. This is the place to be. Check back later. Hey everybody, it's me, your girl, Daytime, and we are here live at the Mayor's Ball in the VIP reception. And today, I am here with Dr. Dorothy Kowser Yancey. Dr. Dorothy, now, please tell me why you are here attending this event today. I'm here because it is a great fundraiser to raise money to send students from this area to colleges. And it's a wonderful thing. It's a great scholarship fund. Okay, now why do you think it's important to come to these events? It's important to come to these events so you can support them, write checks, make sure that, that UNCF raises money so students can have grants. It's important. Super important. Now, can I ask you, would you look forward to coming to next year's? What do I look forward to coming to? Oh, I look forward to seeing my friends and all these other folks that I see. I see them once a year sometimes, and it's just a great gathering. It's like a family reunion. Okay, that's it for now. We are going to be right back. Check back later. Hey everybody, it's me, your girl, Daytime, and we are here live at the Mayor's Ball with these two amazing people. I'm Mary Susan Wheeler. And I'm Edward Lorenzo Wheeler. Okay, so I just wanted to start off and ask, what are you wearing, Mrs. Wheeler? I am wearing gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I don't know who the designer is, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, but you are looking amazing. And I think you are too. Thank who are you. you wearing? <laughs> I am wearing custom made. Okay. <laughs> okay, so first I wanted to ask, how important do you think it is coming to these events? I, I think it's very important. The UNCF is an amazing organization, and the ITC, the Interdenominational Theological Center, where I'm president, benefits from the generosity that people give in support of UNCF. Okay. Mrs. Wheeler? I have to agree. As a matter of fact, I think the Interdenominational Theological Center is more important than ever, ever these days uh, in terms of what's going on in our society and the need for hope and support among our community. Okay, now, this question is the last question, and this is from Mr. Wheeler. Now, what does it feel like to be president of ITC? Well, it's a wonderful privilege, first of all. It was a lot of hard work. Uh, but it's also encouraging work because I have the privilege of working with some very talented people. Definitely. And, and I look forward to the day when you come to ITC because I think you've got the makings to be a great leader in a spiritual world as well as in the media. Thank you. And that is it for right now. We'll be back later. Catch you later. Hey everybody, it's me, your girl, Daytime, and we are here live at the Mayor's Ball with these two phenomenal people. John Wilson, president of Morehouse College. And Carol Espy Wilson. Okay, so first I wanted to ask, what are you wearing, Mrs. Wilson? <laughs> you mean who is my dress by? Yes. To be honest, I don't remember. <laughs> The best okay. designer in the world. Okay, <laughs> that's good enough. Um, now, I wanted to ask you, Mr. Wilson, what does it feel like to be president of Morehouse? It feels great to be president of Morehouse, especially since I was a student at Morehouse. So I'm actually president of my alma mater. And here we are about to enter 2017. And 2017 will be our anniversary year. In the year 2017, we will celebrate our 150th birthday. Okay? So that's a big deal, isn't it? Amazing. Thank you guys so much for letting me interview you guys. And we will be back later. everybody, it's Mirga Daytime and we are here live at the Mayor's Ball today with David Beckler, President of Rust College in Holly Springs, Mississippi. 
Okay, so first I wanted to ask, this is your first time at the Mayor's Ball, correct? This is the first time at the Atlanta Mass Ball, yes. What do you think it's going to be like? How do you think the experience will be? I think it's going to be an exciting evening, and most of all, it's going to be an exciting evening because we're going to be raising money for UNCF kids to help support about 60,000 young people who attend our 38 institutions. That's, that's exciting right there. Yes, that is very exciting. Now, what do you have coming up for 2017? In terms of uh, UNCF or just in terms of living? Which one? Um, both. Okay, well, UNC we're in the midst of our UNCF campaign in North Mississippi right now. We have three banquets, uh, similar activities scheduled for the next uh, three weeks and for that program. And then we're looking forward to uh, another productive year at Ross College. This is the 150th anniversary year, and so we're celebrating 150 years of support and livelihood as a part of the Young Methodist Church, which is our sponsoring church body. Uh, I've had an increase in enrollment this year, so we're looking forward to continuing that progress. Okay, guys, that is it for right now. We will be back later. Catch you later. Hey, everybody, it's Mayor God Daytime, and we are here live at the Mayor's Ball with Miss National UNCF Taylor Cooper. Okay, first of all, I just wanted to say it's an honor to meet you today. Thank you. It's an honor to meet you. Okay, first, I want to ask. How does it feel to be Miss UNCF? To be Miss National UNCF is a huge accomplishment. I love raising money so that students that can't afford to get into college will have an opportunity to go to college. I'm all about education and I'm all about supporting UNCF. Okay, now, why do you think it's important to attend these events, such as the Mayor's Ball? It is so important to me to attend events such as the Mayor's Ball because I get a chance to network. I get a chance to talk to my school about the importance of coming to events like this, such as supporting UNCF, supporting Atlanta, Georgia, and the Mayor, and of course coming here to meet awesome people like you. Okay, guys. That's it for now. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya. everybody, it's me, a good daytime, and we are here live at the Mayor's Ball with... Thomas W. Deutsch, Jr. Okay, so first I want to ask, what do you think of this event so far? Well, it's wonderful. I'm um, committed to historical black colleges and universities, and this is a phenomenal way for us to raise money for the UNCF schools who make a difference. And so being here tonight is support for the historical black colleges and universities, those private institutions that really make the world go round. Okay. Now, tell us a little bit about your book. I have a book. It's called The Miracles of Mentoring, published by Doubleday Books. I served as the international chairman of 100 Black Men of America for 10 years. We have over 125,000 young people in our mentoring program, but when you mentor, you really make a difference. And so my book was a way for us to encourage more people to mentor, to get involved, and help to change the lives of so many great young people. Okay, guys. That's it for right now. We will catch you later. Bye. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, our girl Daytime, and we are here live at the Mayor's Ball with... Avery Sunshine. Avery Sunshine. We're a great duo, right? Yes. Daytime and Avery Sunshine. <laughs> I love that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go, 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 go. Okay, so, so, tell us why you're here attending this beautiful, amazing, phenomenal event today. Well, I'm here because I was a recipient of the part of the UNCF. I, I, I... I got a couple dollars to go to Spelman College. So um, I'm here to support and what, whatever we can raise uh, awareness for uh, organizations like this, we want to make sure that we do that. And this is my first time coming, so you know, I had to get kind of cute for it, you know. <laughs> I got glitter on, you got glitter. You got some glitter too? Yeah, glitter. glitter. Sparkle, sparkle, yeah, sparkle, shimmer, shine. Yeah. Okay, last question. Yes. Tell us about your record label. Okay, so my record label is called Big Shine Recordings, and my husband and I started that because we wanted to, we wanted to remain independent. So we um, we are entrepreneurs, and um, so we, we do. And we, now we have partnerships with other labels, but it is our um, we make all the decisions, and I guess that's the big thing. But yeah, so we're grateful for that. Okay, guys, that is it for right now. We will catch you guys later. T
tune out. Hey everybody, it's me, your girl Daytime, and we are here live at the Mayor's Ball with... Michael Lomax, President of the United Negro College Fund. The President of UNCF. So, first I want to ask, why are you here attending this event? Because all of the proceeds from this event go to the United Negro College Fund. So I go to all the balls that we have all around the country. And, and, and thank everybody for supporting UNCF. And we're going to raise over a million dollars this evening, so you know I've got to be here. Okay. And last question. What does it feel like to be president of UNCF? Most of the time it just feels very busy. A lot of hard work going around the country telling people what great work we do and why it's so important to help young people go to college and saying thank you. Now, that is it for right now. We will be back later. Tune in. Hey everybody, it's me, your girl Daytime, and we are here live at the Mayor's Ball here with First Lady Sarah Elizabeth Reed and my husband America Senior, you don't tell. Okay, so first I want to ask, why do you guys think it's important to come to these events? This event is so important because every year we raise at least a million dollars in scholarship money. It's really that simple. Yeah, tonight, tonight is about uh, giving back. Everybody's focused on what's going on in our local community. Tonight we have an opportunity to raise a million dollars for students who are not far away from here, right over in the Atlanta University Center. So there's uh, some young man who's in his dormitory stu studying hard or some young woman who's getting ready to go home for Christmas. And because of the scholarships and the fundraising we're doing tonight, they're going to be able to continue to go on in school. Okay, another question. What does it feel like to be mayor of Atlanta? It's one of the best feelings in the world. I I've wanted uh, to be mayor of Atlanta since I was about your age. So uh, it's, uh, it's absolutely been the, the dream of a lifetime. The only thing better that's happened to me in my life is marrying Sarah Elizabeth and having my daughter. We will be back later. Tune out. Hey, everybody. This is Derry. We're waiting on daytime at the mayor's ball. How y'all doing? Talk me and my best friend My best friend is my girl That is real free time with We play just a research YouTube IG she tango with me too Snapchat light all day, every day That's how me and my best friend is playing